All right, well, this is Bruce at Bookmap. Uh, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. Uh, we'll go through uh, the platform and what it's showing you and uh, uh, how to uh, start to use it. Uh, and uh, any questions that you have, uh, we'll answer here as well. Uh, risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, see some new faces in here, so welcome. And... Um, uh, I'll show you uh, some of the resources here uh, at bookmap.com and how to get up and running if you're interested. Uh, and then uh, once you, uh, there's a there's a 14 day trial period. Now once you are in trial, uh, you'll have access as well to the advanced order flow webinars, uh, and those begin at 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern, so in about uh, 28 minutes. Uh, and there's other resources. There's a uh, educational course uh, as well. So the idea here is uh, in the platform details, uh, get familiar with the platform, uh, and then in the advanced uh, webinars, get to understand order flow uh, and how to integrate that within your trading uh, in those webinars. So those are for the current customers. Uh, they don't want to be bothered with the uh, platform details. All right, so that's why we make the two distinctions. Uh, if you have any issues, you can always reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Okay, and uh, let's go to uh, bookmap.com. Uh, you'll see explore, members, and free webinar. Obviously, you, you signed up here uh, for the uh, free webinar. Uh, click on explore. It just comes down to, just scrolls down to these intro videos. Maybe watch these if you haven't already. Uh, and then continue to scroll down. It's so about bookmap, uh, what it is, what the advantages uh, that it gives you, the insights that it gives you. Some of our partners are here. Uh, we also uh, connect to NASDAQ Total View uh, and uh, with U.S. equities. So uh, that's a nice new feature that uh, has been out for uh, more than a few months now. Uh, but uh, it's just an excellent data feed. Uh, ask me if you want to look at some stocks. I'll be happy to show that because um, it gives you full depth of market. All right. So uh, really, really nice uh, feed uh, and uh, very reasonably priced as well. Um, so anyway, uh, you will need uh, a data provider. Uh, Bookmap is a software platform. We're, we are a true platform. Uh, just uh, you will need um, uh, to connect it, though, uh, with uh, your data provider or your broker. Uh, we are not a data provider. Okay, so uh, if you have, for example, uh, IQ feed or CQG or Rhythmic or Stage 5 offers all of those, I believe, um, or, uh, uh, you know, gain capital, uh, you can connect Bookmap via all of these different uh, platforms as well as just uh, data feeds. So we are a platform just like NinjaTrader. Uh, however, we also connect via the API in Ninja. So um, uh, that's the same for uh, a TT X Trader Pro as well, as well as the Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. All right. Okay, a little bit further down, this is where you'll find the pricing. Uh, in general, there's just Bookmap Basic. Okay, it's 49 per month. It's billed quarterly. You get a 14-day trial period with it. Now, the Bookmap Advanced version, it just includes a lot of the add-ons. All right, one of them is the one-click trading here. Okay, great feature. Uh, I'm actually going to demo that uh, a bit later uh, in the advanced uh, webinar. Uh, someone was asking about it, so I'm going to go through some of that um, uh, in some detail. I think it's going to be a pretty pretty slow day today due to the uh, uh, U.S. holiday, uh, but um, uh, order management is what we're going to cover in the advanced. All right, so any of you guys who are um, here and already uh, customers, uh, just uh, want to let you know. Um, Okay, so that's one of the add-on features. The other ones are these uh, add-on indicators. These are proprietary indicators that we developed uh, that, that um, they're for understanding the order flow. Okay, it's not like your RSI or stochastics or MACD type of uh, uh, indicators. It's uh, looking for larger traders in the limit order book. Okay, we, can, we have an algo that I can identify that. Uh, we're also looking for order book imbalances or volume imbalances. Uh, there's an iceberg detector, a uh, great uh, uh, new, well, it's been out for a few months as well. Uh, it's really been enhanced uh, to show the icebergs. We also have a new correlation tracker um, uh, add-on uh, indicator. Okay. Now, if you're a quant, 
uh, and you need um, a special uh, access to um, your uh, own data or proprietary indicators, uh, that uh, you can just click here to learn more about all of that uh, and let us know. Okay, if you want to uh, really know the details here, you can click on this link down here uh, and it will uh, show you the, the comparison chart of what uh, the differences are between the versions. Okay, they're not different versions, it's just uh, uh, just uh, the different features uh, that are uh, added. Okay, all right. Uh, you can also follow us here on Twitter, uh, up-to-date information. Uh, you can see the, the webinars here, for example, uh, and then um, the... Uh, uh, different uh, different traders retweeted or we have you can see some of the equities here uh, and some of the uh, futures as well all right so uh, I'll take a look at, uh, at at some of that follow us if you like our YouTube page you can go here and you can um, uh, watch uh, all of our different uh, videos features and components here for example uh, and you might want to uh, uh, take a look at some of these if you're new here and get familiar with what bookmap uh, the the user interface and uh, what bookmap is displaying okay now these order flow video snippets very concise videos a couple minutes each these go through order flow phenomena okay and how bookmap displays that uh, and this is more or less what we cover in the um, advanced uh, webinars so uh, understanding the order flow it's not about the it's not about the uh, platform well it's about how the platform discovers uh, this phenomena and displays it and then how to take advantage of it okay uh, a little bit further down you can see our pro trader webinar series from September if you want to look at some of these videos here that cover uh, well pro traders cover how they use bookmap uh, selected webinars if you want some uh, insight to what the advanced uh, webinars look like you can uh, uh, watch some of these recorded webinars here all right okay well let's jump in to bookmap and uh, let's see uh, what is it displaying all right so for a lot of you new here to bookmap um, this chart may look very very unfamiliar to you okay and it may, may look very complex uh, let's just go one step at a time here it's actually really simple very objective data okay what we're showing here with these uh, all these big dots that you see here is the volume it's where the volumes taking place on the historical best bid and offer there's no candlesticks here there's no kind of derivative of price or time or volume we're showing you the volume where it's taking place uh, and uh, I'll, I'll, as I continue on in the presentation we'll, we'll, we'll show exactly uh, uh, what um, uh, or I'll, I'll demo exactly what I'm uh, describing here. Uh, we're also showing you the limit order book. Uh, so over here, these columns here are is the dome, the depth of market. Okay. So if I zoom in here, let's just zoom in. Uh, here's your depth of market. Okay. And then that we're looking at the NQ, the Nasdaq uh, E Mini. All right. Now we're all familiar with the dome, most of us. Uh, so uh, uh, we just take this data here. Uh, and where this gets really interesting is we project it onto the chart. Okay, so now you, you can see the current dome as well as the historical dome. So what Bookmap is showing you in general here is just historical best bid and offer, the volume, uh, and then uh, the uh, evolution of the limit order book or the dome. Okay, so let's go through it uh, and uh, in some detail and just to um, make it familiar here I'm going to turn on the candlesticks and uh, we're going to turn everything else off right including best bid and offer okay here is a five minute candlestick chart okay we can see uh, the 930 open here the move to the downside we see uh, oh, pressure on both sides here uh, in a candlestick uh, and then uh, we see the uh, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of volume comes in. Well, I don't know about volume, but a, a lot of uh, uh, price action uh, and move to the upside, uh, to the other side of the range, and then right back into the middle of the range. Um, now, the candlestick, uh, you can start to read the the, uh, the pressure here. It's it's um, tricky. Uh, it's difficult. And and why is that? Uh, because we don't know uh, a lot of data here. Uh, we don't know where the volume took place. We don't know what type it was. Uh, we don't know the details of really what unfolded here. We only know open high, low close of a five-minute period. 
and that's it. The rest of reading this information here is kind of like reading the tea leaves uh, in your um, in your teacup. Uh, you, you, we really don't know, all right? So um, uh, the um, we do have a volume subchart, and I can uh, I can turn that on. Okay, here. Uh, and uh, most of us have this view, so we understand that there is volume down here, uh, but we don't know where the volume took place, uh, how much, and what type it was, okay? So uh, we also uh, are missing all sorts of data in here within microstructures, and it's a huge, huge, uh, it makes a huge difference here, understanding microstructure. As the microstructure move, it all initiates there and will, uh, uh, kind of a, a snowball or um, uh, ex be extrapolated into the bigger event, okay? And uh, let's turn on the historical best bid and offer just to see that, okay? And uh, it's already helping quite a bit because we can already understand a lot of uh, microstructural areas here uh, because, um, and we can just zoom into some of these areas here, all right? So um, let's uh, zoom in here, okay? And, um, uh, you know, we, we see that this kind of double bottom bottom uh, pattern here, right? Uh, and then um, uh, we can also see, though, within that double uh, bottom, we'll look at this uh, breakdown to the downside here. Uh, a move back up, okay? There's a little bit of structure where it broke down here, and then there's structure down below here, okay? Now, for those of you in your volume profile, uh, volume profile traders, any any volume profile traders, uh, in the room here, any of you guys look at uh, volume profile? Let, let me know. Uh, very interested to know. Uh, okay, yeah, you do, Mario. Okay, um, uh, this is going to uh, work really well with uh, with your volume profile, All right? So you're going to note in these little microstructural areas the cluster. Uh, you're going to note the volume cluster, the breakdown, and you're going to note right back into the little the point of control. Uh, of that volume, and then you see the breakout here, okay? So we've broken out of this little structural area. We come back down, retest that area, okay? A little bit of a deep pullback here, uh, but uh, it's support, price is supported down here, all right? And we see the move to the upside, and then look at this range here, okay? Uh, we, we can see exactly what occurred here. Uh, it's just, uh, we this is where the move took place. Okay. And above all of this area here, uh, we accepted. Okay. Look at the breakdown here. This is, we're going to find responsive buyers here, down in this area here. And uh, you can see that we, we did not, this breakdown here, right to the same area where we were earlier. All right. And it rejected. Okay. It did not accept down here. It rejected and we went to the other side of the range here. Okay, this is all auction market theory. It's all uh, right within bookmap here. And we're just getting a taste of it with the historical best bid and offer. That's it, okay? So uh, uh, trying to understand the candles and open high, low, close in context to all of that is not giving you much insight at all. Okay, so now let's turn on the volume, okay? And we can see exactly where volume traded, all right? And let me, let me uh, volume dots are a little, little big here. So let's uh, just bring these down a little bit. All right. Okay. So now if we look at some of these areas, uh, we can see exactly, uh, and we can answer the question exactly what traded and where and what kind of volume, okay? Was it aggressive market buys or aggressive market sells? So let me, let me cover what we're displaying here in Bookmap because you can see these pie charts. Uh, that give you the overall delta of the volume. So, and for the example here, we see more aggressive buying than selling, but there's a lot of selling here as well, okay? Uh, but let's uh, let's zoom into an area here and uh, let's just take a look, all right? So uh, uh, nothing in particular, I'll just zoom right in. Uh, and what I wanna show here uh, is the historical best bid and offer, all right? So the best uh, bid here is the green line. Best offer is the red line. Okay, now here are the volume dots on historical best bid and offer. These are transactions that took place. Okay, and I, I can I use the data tip tool, hover over this area, and it shows me exactly what traded here. Okay, I get the date, the time, what was on the ask here at this price level, and the volume. And this was for a volume of one. 
Okay, here's another one for a volume of one, right? Bigger green dot over here as they lift the offer, you can see this was for a volume of, let's zoom in a little bit more, and hover right over this area here. Huh, it's funny, it's not giving me, okay, volume of 11 here, all right? There you go, okay. And um, so this, this uh, green dot, is an aggressive market buy order. And we, we consider it uh, the aggressor uh, because they crossed the spread, they took liquidity off of the best offer, and um, uh, the, the aggressive market sell order is a red dot. It took liquidity off of the best bid, okay? Now, we record every single event here, okay? This is where uh, we differ from uh, other platforms. Uh, we have a, a complex event processing engine that can handle all of this data here. So we can zoom in, and let me, let me find an area that might be a little more interesting. Uh, maybe, uh, let's see, maybe this pullback here, right? Because we're going to see initiated buying here, pulling uh, uh, pulling price up, okay? In fact, we can see these little tests in these areas here of exhaustion, uh, and then the initiated buying begins here right outside of this little microstructural area. Okay, a little triple, quadruple bottom here, and then uh, buyer step in, all right? So anyway, um, the um, looking at the uh, the volume, the um, we can zoom in and we can show you exactly what traded here. Now, I'm, I have a little bit of lag with the uh, uh, best uh, bid and offer here. Okay, that's because they come in via two different protocols, but uh, you can see them lifting the offer here, right? Uh, and uh, as I continue to zoom in, look exactly what traded here. Uh, we have all of this data. We're down at milli or microsecond level. We can continue to zoom in. We can look at the uh, nanosecond level here. I know exactly what happened here. Okay, now we come from the HFT environment, uh, and um, uh, Bookmap originally began uh, because uh, the software was developed just proprietarily uh, for understanding uh, where our algos were getting filled. Okay, we wanted to know that data and that detail, uh, and um, came up with this visualization tool. Uh, and uh, then thought this was a pretty good idea for uh, for others, and uh, uh, offered it here, offering it here to the retail market. Okay. Now we don't trade off of those micro level uh, or nanosecond level um, uh, areas. Okay. So you can see as I zoom back out, I've um, a book map has uh, very smartly um, integrated uh, or consolidated uh, this data. Uh, into one big dot, and it get, you can hover over this area, and it tells me this is for a volume of 69, and I know the majority of it is aggressive buying. There's some selling in here, but it's not that uh, extensive. Uh, so uh, if you if you want the details, you've got it. Okay, you can zoom in and see every single detail, and you can see exactly how these markets trade. Okay, uh, as we zoom back out. Uh, we get the overall shape of that volume uh, because we don't trade off of those levels, right? Uh, we're, uh, we want to understand in general uh, what's going on in these areas, all right? So that's the volume uh, in book map. Now let's get into that um, uh, limit order book and, uh, and what is what it's showing you here, okay? Nice breakdown here. Uh, and um, to understand the volume is, uh, is is very important, okay? Uh, for those of you looking at volume profile, uh, you, you know that, okay? Understanding where traders are committed and, and their activity. I mean, look at them like in this area here, uh, th you know, they hit the bid pretty hard, okay? Uh, it initiated up here actually, we get a little bit of a pullback and then a move to the downside, okay? But, uh, uh, and understanding the volume is is key. Uh, however, there's a whole other side of understanding what's going on in the market and the order flow, and that is through the limit order book. This is why we look at a dome. Okay, we want to understand where traders are lined up uh, in the bid and and the offer. Okay, and you can see that in the dome here. 
These are traders on the offer here, lined up providing liquidity here uh, at these areas. Okay, and here they are on the bid. All right. Now, understanding the dome and, and the auction is in, is very important. Uh, because, uh, you know, you want to see it, it is an auction. The markets are auctions uh, and we want to understand where the players are lined up to deal. It gives us a lot of insight. The problem with the dome uh, is that um, uh, it, uh, it it shows you only the current market activity. OK, as soon as these numbers change, that data is gone. So what we do with Bookmap is in this window here with the historical or this is current best bid and offer, okay? And this is your last traded volume. Uh, what we uh, show you uh, is uh, a graphical representation uh, of these numbers, okay? So let's turn on the heat map, okay? So now you understand like uh, a really, that is, it's uh, really not that complex, but what we're looking at here is in this window, graphical representation of the liquidity. So 153 contracts up here at 71 and a half, right? It's bright, it's bright white, okay? High liquidity is painted white, okay? A lighter shade uh, or a little darker shade of gray is gonna be a little less liquidity, okay? If it's dark, there's very little liquidity, right? That's what we're showing in book map, okay? Now where this gets really interesting is uh, to the left of this vertical white line. Okay. We take this data and we record it and we transpose it on the chart historically. So now we see the volume, but we also see where they're lined up to trade. Okay, how, how they behaved in the auction previously. All right, so look at the striations here in the, uh, in the liquidity uh, heat map. And you can see this is the adding and pulling of liquidity. Okay, we can hover over these areas and uh, see over here where it says it, get the date, the time, and then on the ask there was 55 contracts. As I scroll to the right, you can see that it, it's, it's getting a little brighter in these areas here. Now we have 69, 74 contracts, et cetera. Okay? Now, where this, how this is helpful is to understand the behavior of this area. Okay. Do they have the intent to trade or was this fake liquidity? All right. Well, we can answer that question just by looking at this activity here. Okay. We can see that uh, they've started to pull those orders. They started to add in as price is coming up. That's, that's showing pretty bearish behavior. Okay. They want, they want to trade is what it's showing as price is coming up. But then price starts to eke up a little bit further and they pull. So they did not have the intent to trade up here, okay? In fact, we can start to read the behavior of some of these larger players, and if they're pulling liquidity, are they adding it up at higher levels? And it kind of looks like it. It looks like it's the same kind of actors here uh, around this uh, 69, 50 area, 70 area, and they're pulling and adding up here. Uh, so they don't wanna be sellers here, they want to be sellers up in these areas now, okay? For this microstructural area, okay, and it's not that micro. I mean, we're looking at several minutes here of data, okay? Uh, but it's showing that uh, they don't, they're not that uh, bearish. They want to be buyers, or I'm sorry, they want to be sellers up in these areas. That's where they want to deal. And we have that context for you. All right, so uh, that's how Bookmap can help you understand and read the auction within the um, uh, uh, the traded volume. Okay, so for example, uh, then this is the what we cover some of the examples in the advanced order flow webinars, which will start in about uh, four minutes. Uh, is look at the breakdown here. Okay, look at where they're lining up to be sellers again. Okay, pretty, uh, we see this all the time, right? This is where the sellers began. This is where they want to deal again right now. They want to add to their sell position where they initiated it up here, okay? It's giving you really good insight to the, the intent of some of, these, uh, some of these traders. All right, okay, let me get to a few questions here. Uh, and uh, let's see. Um, there was another trader here. He wanted to go over the um, uh, some of the orders. 
I think we're going to cover that in the uh, in the advance. I don't see him in here, so so yeah, I think uh, uh, we'll do that uh, in the advanced. Uh, and uh, all right, so uh, questions here, Mario. Uh, CQG records the historical limit order book. It well, uh, CQG doesn't. Uh, we do, um, and um, uh, we display it for you. Okay, so when you open up your book map, you begin recording all of that data. Okay or you, you begin collecting it. Now you have the option to record it. I You can see down here this button, this red button is uh, uh, the record the the data button here, okay? So um, yeah, I am recording my data. You can also record all of your trading activity, okay? It's a great deb debriefing tool. Uh, so if you wanna see exactly how your trading strategies are working, uh, and um, exactly where you got filled and what the market condition was, you, you have it down to the nanosecond or basically unlimited zoom. Let's see, Tyler, uh, could I supply the link for the advanced webinar? Uh, Tyler, if uh, it's, it's for those that are in trial uh, and um, or current customers and um, God, uh, you've been in here quite a bit, so I'm um, not sure if you have access to those or not. Um, you're in the trial. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll give you the, um, I'll, I'll email you the, uh, the link then. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I, I, you know, um, we, you know, we want to keep that distinction between, between the two, uh, those that, uh, are here for the first time and, uh, you know, we're going through the basics here. I mean, just this idea here, uh, we've gone through so many times in, uh, we're, we, we, already assume or we're already we want to see if the traders are lining up here to deal on the sell side okay uh, and um, uh, you know this kind of uh, order flow analysis uh, we go through uh, you know I'll go through the basics here with you guys now uh, but we'll go through it in detail so like for example look at them take look at the buyers take these guys on right here okay we just traded into this area uh, and uh, and you can see the transactions that took place Okay, so and we're also seeing maybe another. Um, uh, we'll, we'll we'll read it, but like uh, we're, we may see if uh, uh, the buyers, on the other hand, if they start providing high liquidity right underneath here, we may see a flip of that order book. They were here on the uh, offer and they flipped to the bid side. These guys all down that that broke down here in this area. Perhaps they'll get trapped and maybe we'll see a move to the other side of the range here. Okay, this is uh, uh, some of the things that uh, we'll cover in the advanced. All right, all right, guys, thanks for coming, and uh, we'll see you in the advanced if uh, you guys are in trial or uh, current customers. Thanks.